So unfortunately, he was he's engaged to be married in October of 2017. Uh, So uh, he organized and put forth a memorial for a slain Detroit police officer, Patrick Hill, in which he named his dog Wolverine after this officer. And that's where we're at right now. The investigation is ongoing. It's being conducted at the Detroit Police Department. And uh, again, we'll retain some specific questions afterwards. But at this time, I'd like to introduce our President Roy Wilson. Uh, President Wilson has been at the hospital uh, throughout the night, and uh, we get so much support here for our department for the administration. Dr. Wilson. Uh, thank you, Chief. Thanks for everything you do. I can't sugarcoat this. This is a tragedy of, of immense proportions, something that Wayne State fortunately rarely has to experience. As much as we're all grieving, I can only imagine, we can all only imagine what the family's going through, particularly their parents, his parents, as well as his fiance. I also want to show support for his fellow officers. This is the 50th anniversary of our police department. In solidarity with them, I decided to wear this 50th anniversary Police have. Our public officers do a fantastic job. They're beloved by not only the Wayne State community, but the greater community. And Colin was just doing his job. And for that, we thank him. I know these police officers, most of them, and they're the finest men and women you can imagine. So I'm thinking about them also. And then finally, I just want to thank both the Detroit City Police and the Michigan State Police for their assistance in apprehending a suspect and getting him into custody, identifying the person, bringing him into custody in such a short period of time. We can all at least rest a little easier that he's off the streets. But like I said, this is a tragedy of immense proportions. All of our thoughts go to the family, to his fellow officers. We appreciate you, all of you. Thank you. Dr. Wilson, Nima Shelf, with Channel 7 ABC here in Detroit. I understand that um, your officers were part of a, a search warrant that was carried out this morning in the 3600 block of Lincoln. What can you tell us about that uh, warrant execution? The chief will have to answer that question. Let me clarify. We have a, a person of interest. I'm told he's actually, a warrant has been obtained. He's actually charged with the crime. The investigation is ongoing. Uh, that execution of a search warrant was looking for a discovery of physical evidence. We're looking for a possibility where the suspect was. Uh, mind you, this was a case or an incident. We have over 200 officers out there within minutes. Michigan State Police, Detroit Police, federal agencies, and Wayne State Police. This was a total collaborative team effort. And we backed up and we looked at every piece of evidence. Something led us to that address. We requested a search warrant and executed that to look for evidence. Was anything found? And if so, what was found? What can you tell us? Yeah. You know, unfortunate. I can't reveal that right now because this is, again, it's an ongoing investigation, and we present this evidence to the prosecutor. I, I want her to get it from us first instead of looking at it on the news. Chief, so Chief, what do you do? Can you just clarify, is it a person of interest or a suspect? If they're being charged, I would... They have not been charged yet. You know, he's a person of interest, and a told he's actually charged, well, let's call him a suspect. Let's not play. Well, he is a suspect. And, and Chief, Chief, what can you tell us about the suspect of his person of interest? Do you have that, have been in contact with him in the past? Uh, the person who we 
took into custody at this time, we took him into custody on some outstanding warrants that he presently has. And they were misdemeanor warrants. Uh, for the exact charge, I'm not sure at this time. We have had previous contact several years ago with this, uh, with this subject. For what? It was uh, assaultive type crimes against police officers. Against police officers? Yes. Against one of your own? Yes. So he's known to your officers? Well, he's known to some of our officers, and not all of our officers, but he is a known person to us. When Chief, what happened in that incident, the previous? Well, the person was this early. He, uh, the one I remember, he was in uh, blocking traffic in the middle of the street, and when he was politely asked to uh, leave the location, uh, he decided not to. And when was this, Chief? Uh, one was in 2011, a couple of incidents. I believe it was one in 2014, 2014 also. Did any officers have any injuries because of it? We had one officer who sustained minor injuries during the scuffle. Can you clarify it? We don't want to paint a picture that the public may or may not understand, but we understand that Officer Colin Roy is he's in grave condition, being shot in the head. You know, it's, That's true. it's a difficult road. Can you explain kind of what the prognosis is or what doctors have been telling you? It's, it's very grave right now. He is on uh, heavy medication and a ventilator. It is it's very grave at this time. Would you consider They are with him right now. Chief, what was the initial incident where uh, Officer Rose made the, the stop? What, what led to that and what became of that suspect who was on the bike? Well, you know, what led to him being stopped or uh, wanted to have contact with Officer Rose, we, we're, that's still being investigated. You know, we, obviously we can't speak to Officer Rose. So we're, we're trying to put the pieces together after this here. Can you say if, he, if you think he was ambushed or targeted specifically? I, I really don't know. I don't believe it was an ambush. I don't believe he was specifically targeted. I believe the officer was making a stop, and uh, what occurred after that, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Chief, your officers from Wayne State, they actually are Detroit police officers. Uh, control. All our officers are certified, sworn in as certified Detroit police officers with no restrictions. They can go beyond even the main campus. We have a designated area that we patrol, and that's one of the designated areas. About a 7.5 mile area surrounding the campus. Will you be making any changes as a result of this incident? You know, after every incident, and basically after every month, we review our procedures. Uh, safety is our number one concern. I tell you, that's the number one concern of the president, the safety of the students, the staff, the community especially our officers. Anytime we have any kind of incident that is tragic, we review all our procedures. Chief, could you speak to the 2014 incident he had with, that was assaultive? And what, what became... Uh, that I don't know. That that investigation is being held by Detroit police. Chief, uh, he had a dog with him at the time. What, did his dog get loose? And they no. He has uh, he has two dogs. He has a uh, narcotics dog. He has a bomb dog. He has one of the first officer to state to have this new vapor weight dog, a uh, very specialized explosive detection dog. Dogs were in the car. Uh, we don't use the dogs as crowd control or to. If we stop at a subject, we don't take the dog out. He was making a regular uh, police stop, a contact. Two dogs. Two, two dogs. And it was apparently for a series of break-ins? No, no. What happened was the day before, or the night before, we made some arrests on a series of break-ins in that area. But that's the area that we routinely patrol. So why was he scouting this Oh, then again, we were trying to determine what was the nature of the stop. You know, the, the day before there were break-ins in this area, car break-ins. Yeah, that's been a, a, a rash in Metro Detroit, Harper Woods, uh, Romulus, Livonia, uh, navigation systems taken for vehicles. And the night before, our officers apprehended a suspect who uh, broke into several cars in that area. Any well, he was on a bicycle. We didn't find any on his bike.
understand you want the, the prosecutor to find this out from you guys, but I mean, what, has the gun been recovered? Or are you the gun has not been recovered. ATF. Uh, right now has the 5,000 reward out for any information needed to the recovery of the weapon. Chief, how, how are your other officers? I mean, I, many of them are here in the room today, and I imagine things are somber and difficult. It's very, very difficult. We have a, a counseling service for the university here, reaching out to the officers, are uh, very concerned with how they're reacting to this, but at the same time, they're very, very professional. They know that we are our service orientated department and they're going to go right back out there and do the job that people depend upon us to do. And I want to reiterate this was an off-campus situation event. The, the campus is very safe, uh, the school is open, uh, students are here and we're here to protect them. How many officers do you have in your department? We have 65. Can I, can I make a... Uh, that I really don't know right now. I don't have all the details on that one. If, if I can just jump in just for a second. In terms of the uh, morale of the officers, you know, they haven't had to deal with something like this ever for, well, most of them forever. Um, the last time an officer, a Wayne State officer, was shot was 36 years ago. And I was shot in, he was shot in the leg. Many of these officers are younger than 36, and so they haven't dealt with something like this and so uh, as the chief said um, you know they're they, they have a lot to try to take in and we're trying to just be, be very helpful uh, in terms of what Colin was doing one, one of the things that our public safety officers do is to not only patrol the campus but to patrol the neighborhood and it makes the neighborhoods much safer much safer for the neighborhood in terms of the businesses and residents there but also for our students and so this is a responsibility that that we take uh, willingly uh, to make the neighborhoods uh, safer for our students and our community Mr. President, have you done anything as far as notifying students or asking students to take any extra precautions because of the we have been sending out uh, updates to the entire campus community as they were available. We, um, and as always, we tell our students that despite the fact that we have a very safe campus, that um, we always advise our students to be aware of their surroundings and, and take precautions and to report anything that's suspicious. And we've been continuing to do that. If I can just add one thing to that. Our students and our campus community have been notified via text, email, on our website, we've had continual updates, and also through our social media. So we've, we've, we've tried to be very transparent and open about this. So everybody knows, and part of that messaging is going to be, be aware of your surroundings, be vigilant, be safe. Chief, can you speak more to the character of Officer Rose? I mean, he, he's a young guy, but he seems like he's more involved and has done more with his career than, than some old veterans at this point. You see, yeah, that's why he's a canine handler. We, we just don't give a dog to anyone, and we don't give that type of extensive training. Uh, he just came back from uh, Georgia for the specialized training with this dog. And not only is he a canine handler, he's very, very involved in the community. He goes to schools, he gives out demos. Uh, again, he's on the police unity tour. I don't believe it's a police officer that has suffered a death anywhere in the United States that he has not been to that funeral volunteered on his own. He is just an outstanding, proactive officer. He's one credit short of receiving his master's degree. Uh, he's going to school. Uh, he assists us Detroit with the training of their dogs. And he's just a really well-rounded, involved officer, very well liked. If you were at the hospital like I was, well, you see the pouring of emails, text messages, officers coming from Taylor, Livonia, different agencies. I get a call from the chief of, of Virginia, Virginia Tech, wishing well for the officers. That just shows you the character of the officer and the nature of this job. What's the master's in? Uh, I believe it's in police administration. At Wayne State? Yes. Chief, we see many of his colleagues here. Are there any any other officers that work with him closely to speak more to his character? What a, what a great officer. Yeah, we, we, we're a, a small department, generally 65, 
and we work very, very closely. We're, we're a family and we're a team. Uh, I think any officer in this department would speak very, very highly of him.